we discussed in the previous classes as the classification of industries based upon the scale capital production as a cottage industries small scale industries and large scale industries and large scale industries now the next classification classification of industries based on a source of raw material based on source of raw material source of raw material important industries are agro based industries agro based industries which are obtaining there which obtain raw material from agriculture from agriculture are the agro based industries like jute industry cotton textiles sugar jute cotton textiles sugar vegetable oils rubber pip rubber are the industries categorized under the agro base industries which obtain their raw material from agriculture from agriculture example jute industries sugar vegetable oils vegetable oils sugar cotton textiles jute etc clear these industries are based on a source of a raw material agro based industries next are the mineral based industries mineral based industries industries which obtain their raw material raw materials primarily from minerals from minerals such industries are known as a metal metallurgical industries for example iron and steel industries iron industry aluminium copper air aircraft automobiles automobiles these industries are the metallurgical industries except that fertilizers petrochemicals pharmaceuticals paints mineral based industries why because of the oil refineries which are used a crude oil for a refining refinement of a crude oil in a oil refinery is extracted through the processes of a mining it is as the categories under the minerals so industries which use which obtain their raw material from a minerals are the mineral based industries pharmaceuticals paints petrochemicals iron and steel industries oil refineries aluminium copper automobiles aircraft industries are categorized under the mineral based industries third are forex based industries forest based industries forest based industries which obtain their raw material from forest like timber paper paper industries furniture paper industries one and only paper industry has situated in a in our state what's the name of that particular place which is associated with the paper industry of punjab of punjab kanishka prove it you are living in a punjab ask raise your hand krishna and jay aditya please also akhilesh yes bhumika yes answer sir is it in pagwada 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 me paper industry hai just a few kilometers away from the jalandhar ye pagwada mein hoti hai knowledge hoti hai hame nahi hai it's in hosharpur it's in hosharpur the town is a mahilpur m a h i l p u r m a h i l p u r mahilpur mahilpur place associated with the paper industry industries which are obtaining their raw material from forest obtain their raw material from forest are the are known as the forest based industries next are the marine industries or maritime marine industries industries which obtain their raw material from sea or oceans industries obtain their raw material from sea or oceans example manufacturing of salt manufacturing of salt or liver oil o r d for liver oil manufacturing of salt 
manufacturing of salt are the examples of a marine industries seafood categorized under this category seafood categorized under this category of a marine industries marine industries next category as a pastoral based pastoral based industries pastoral based industries industries those industries which obtain which obtain or which are dependent on animals to obtain their raw material industries those number of industries of our country which are dependent on their raw material for their raw material raw materials example leather leather industries which are dependent on animals to obtain their raw material like sir aapki awaaz thodi si clear nahi aa rahi now now clear now am i clear is it clear anybody now am i clear abhi clear hai okay pastoral based industries industries which are dependent on those industries which are depend on animals to obtain their raw material to obtain their raw material example leather leather woolen textiles woolen textiles leather dairy d a i r y dairy woolen textiles leather etc these industries are which are directly and indirectly dependent upon animals need their need of a raw material for which as these industries dependent on a animals these industries are known as a pastoral based industries p t o r a l pastoral based industries clear fourth cl third classification classification of industries classification of industries based on ownership based on ownership industries based on ownership so those industries which are based on ownership are for example first public sector industries public sector industries industries which are controlled managed and administered by the government and its agencies and its agencies industries which are controlled managed and administered by the government and its agencies and its agencies are known as a public sector industries these are known as the public sector industries example examples are seal s a i l seal authority of india limited steel authority of india limited steel authority of india limited bhel bharat heavy electricals limited bharat heavy electricals limited bhel seal s a i l b s n l bharat sanchar nigam limited bharat sanchar nigam limited bharat sanchar nigam limited now is it clear voice is clear bharat sanchar nigam limited steel authority of india limited bharat heavy electricals limited are the some examples of a public sector industries 
these are the public sector industries second are the private sector industries this is some problem in a connection of a these plates okay private sector industries industries which are controlled and managed by the individuals either the one individual is responsible for this individual or group of individuals group of individuals it means as a one group as their organization is there which is responsible for a manufacturing of goods such industries are work for the profits public sector industries are work for the social welfare whereas a private sector industries are work for a they are generally as a work for to maximize their profits to increase their profits for example reliance textiles godrej dabber industries godrej and dabber industries bombay dyeing disco airtel airtel are the industries which are categorized under the private sector private sector industries these industries are categorized under the private sector private sector industries clear private sector industries third are joint sector industries joint sector industries joint sector industries those industries which are jointly operated by jointly operated by jointly operated by public and public and private sectors means those industries which are collectively managed and controlled by the private and state agencies state agencies for socio economic benefits for socio economic benefits are known as a joint sector industries example oil oil o i l oil india limited oil india limited oil india limited oil joint sector as a pseb punjab state electricity board punjab state electricity board it has as a collectively managed by the two agencies as private and a public sector government responsible for availability of power availability of electricity and the distribution managed by the private company that's why as a since last one decade the services of a power supply improved as compared to the as compared to the before of a 2010 as compared to before of 2010 the services of a power supply improved in our country two examples oil and pseb clear next are the cooperative sector industries cooperative sector industries cooperative sector these industries are owned and operated by those people industries cooperative sector industries are owned and operated by those people operated by those people those people who produce and supply raw materials who produce and supply raw materials to the market raw materials to the market or produce directly as a finished products produce finished products they put their resources together to run an organization these industries cooperative sector industries cooperative sector industries work for mutual benefits they are generally work for a mutual benefits industries work for mutual benefits example sugar industries in a south india sugar industries in southern india sugar industries in southern india 
अमूल वेरका अमूल इन वेस्टर्न इंडिया वेरका इन पंजाब वेरका इन पंजाब खादी भंडार उद्योग खादी भंडार उद्योग खादी भंडार उद्योग विच हैव जनरली वर्क फॉर द हैंडलूम इंडस्ट्रीज खादी भंडार उद्योग खादी भंडार उद्योग विच हैज वर्क फॉर द हैंडलूम इंडस्ट्रीज हैंडलूम इंडस्ट्रीज खादी भंडार उद्योग हैज कैटेगराइज अंडर द कॉपरेटिव सेक्टर कॉपरेटिव सेक्टर अमूल स्टार्टेड देयर फंक्शनिंग अर्लियर फ्रॉम द गुजरात वेयर द रूरल वेमेन दे कलेक्टेड एस अ मिल्क एंड सप्लाई टू वर्ड्स देयर एट ज्वाइनिंग विलेजेस at joining villages that industry which started in a form of a cooperative sector which now as presently known as the multinational company amul becomes as a multinational company its goods are exporting towards the exporting towards the 17 other nations of the world amul amul the taste of india what is that you you seeing on a television clear yeah. so these are the industries based upon a source of a raw material source of raw material next fourth classification of industries of industries based on their role based on their role or type of product based on their role or type of product two types of industries are there basic industries or basic industries and consumer goods industries basic industries means those industries which are providing as a base to economy base to economy basic industries basic industry is the one on which other industries depend other industries depend for example iron and steel industries iron and steel industries manufacture the iron which is used in other industries for setting up the machinery for the machinery we need the iron iron we need for a setting up the infrastructure buildings buildings so iron and steel industries are a basic industries which are providing a base to the economy base to economy clear base to economy iron and steel industries aluminium smelting aluminium smelting cotton textiles cotton textiles they manufacture the cloth but that cloth it can't be as a ready to consumed or used by the consumers consumers needs as a further processing means that that cloth purchased by the small scale industries they are cutting them in a different patterns shirts pants shirts pants which are stitching in a stitched by the tailors then afterwards that product it can be as a consumed by the consumers it can be consumed by the consumers large scale cotton textiles they manufacture just as the spindles spindles of a cotton cloth which can't be as a directly used it needs as a refinement that refinement has occur on a small scale industries clear cotton textiles are also the key industries or a basic industries their products are used in other industries for manufacturing of goods manufacturing of goods clear another category as a consumer goods industries industries which are manufactured as such materials which can directly consumed by consumers these their products it can be directly consumed by the consumers are known as a consumer goods industries consumer goods industries example electronic goods furniture electronic goods furniture confectioneries bakeries bakeries 
to the bakery when the as a biscuit manufacturer bread manufacturer it can be as a consumed by the consumers as a directly bakery electrical goods furniture stationery 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 jayaditya cosmetics 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 kitchen utensils akhilesh electric goods electric goods stationery items confectionery items etc clear these are examples of a consumer goods industries their products it can be as a directly consumed by the consumers to satisfying their needs <laughs> to satisfy their needs which are known as a consumer goods industries these industries are known as the consumer goods industries clear till there any questions till the time we discussing as a four of the we discussed the four of the classifications first on the basis of a scale cottage industries small scale industries and large scale industries on the basis of ownership public sector industries private sector industries joint sector industries cooperative sector industries on the basis of a source of raw material source of raw material <coughs> agro based industry <coughs> sorry agro based industries mineral based industries pastoral based industries forest based industries and marine industries then fourth classification classification based upon a <coughs> based on their role and type of product basic industries which are also known as a key industries basic industries basic industries now am i audible is it clear basic industries or consumer goods industries clear now the fifth classification of industries based on a weight of raw material weight of raw material on the basis of weight of raw material finish ka now voice is clear weight of raw material as a heavy industries heavy industries heavy industries these industries use heavy and bulky raw materials use heavy and bulky raw materials industries which use the heavy and bulky raw materials and produce products and produce products at a larger in number these industries produce products at a larger in number larger in number industries produce goods which needs as the heavy and the bulky raw materials which produce goods at a larger in number goods at larger in number are known as a heavy industries heavy industries such industries require larger investment larger investment and use a large amount of raw materials use large amount of raw materials these industries are both capital intensive and labor intensive such industries are required as a capital investment at a larger in scale with the labor intensive labor also required for the manufacturing of goods both skilled and unskilled labor clear example cement industries cotton textiles sorry cement industries iron and steel industries cement industries iron and steel industries these such kind of industries require the capital investment at a larger in scale that's why these industries are the capital in intensive as well as labor intensive as well as labor intensive labor intensive clear labor intensive labor intensive industries next light industries light weight industries these industries use lighter raw material light weight raw material in a smaller quantities these industries use the lighter raw material and produce light weight products produce light weight products 
such industries are also known as a foot loose industries foot loose industries foot loose industries foot loose industries in which as the laksh gujral laksh gujral you are important as a pharmaceuticals pharmaceuticals which require the raw material light in weight light in weight and a smaller quantities pharmaceuticals cosmetics jayadit cosmetics cosmetics footwear electrical appliances electrical appliances etc electrical appliances etc can easily as transported towards the easily transported towards the different regions different regions clear such industries require the less capital less capital lesser number of laborers lesser number of laborers less capital lesser number of laborers and lower cost of transportation lower cost cost of transportation why because of the raw material is a light in weight and smaller in quantities clear these industries known as a light weight industries light weight industries clear till there are any questions till there are any questions if anybody want to ask question they have to click they have to switch on their cam anybody want to ask any question yes now voice is clear alin kanishka voice is clear okay next the case studies which are given in a chapter as a first agro based industries agro based industries agro based industries industries utilizing the raw material produced by the farmers which refer to as the agro based industries example cotton jute silk textiles vegetable oil sugar food processing are the some of the examples of industries industries categorized under the agro based yes bhumika sir aapki voice clear nahi hai what disturbing cotton textiles indian textiles have been famous since time immemorial and were in demand in a south west asia egypt and europe since from a longer historical background during the colonial period colonial period a variety of cotton clothes high demanded in a european industry european am i audible yes so in agro based industries these were uh, started in india such kind of a cotton textile industries agro based industries started in india at the time of a british age time of british age when a variety of a cotton clothes high demanded in a european countries cotton clothes demanded in european industries the <coughs> important varieties of a cotton clothes demanded in european countries as calico calico c a l i c o calico 
calico chintz c h i n t z calico the type of a cotton cloth which moved towards the portuguese with them when they returned back towards their country calico chintz c h i n t z chintz bandhana bandhana term derived from the bandhana tying and dyeing process bandhana b a n d h a n a muslin m u s l i n muslin <coughs> jamdani j a m d a n i jamdani muslin bandhana chintz calico these number of a clothes high demanded in a european countries european countries during the colonial period textile is the most important agro based industry which provides the 20 percentage of a job opportunities job opportunities 20 percentage of it which are generated through the cotton textiles cotton textiles and it contributes 4 percentage in indian gdp in our country's gdp cotton textiles contributes the 4 percentage 4 percentage textile industries is self reliant industry which has worked to a which has worked to a system of a chain these industries cotton textiles are work through the chain system chain system for example cotton produced by the farmers used by the industrialists for a ginning pur purpose g i n n i n g ginning for ginning in which the cotton seeds are separated from the cotton balls cotton seeds separated from cotton balls cotton seeds separated from cotton balls clear afterwards the uh, such cotton such cotton used for a such cotton used for a spinning purposes spinning next manufacturing stage spinning spinning afterwards the spinning when the thread has a manufacture then afterwards the yarn transform into the weaving it is used for a weaving yarn used for a weaving weaving as a manufacturing of a fabric afterwards a manufacturing of a fabric dyeing such cotton cloth it dye in a different colors dye in different colors dyeing and afterwards as a cutting and stitching cutting of a cotton clothes then stitching 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 then it has given to the garment it will be becomes as a garment which is ready for the consumption which can be as a use by the consumers which can be consumed by the consumers it can be used by the consumers to satisfy their need of a clothes during as a colonial period indian weavers produced the quality products by hand spinning and looms during the colonial period indian weavers they manufactured the manufactured the cotton cotton clothes <laughs> through the hand spinning and looms through looms after the industrial revolution power looms and machines they were introduced this gave a hike in a cotton textile industries throwing the thousands of weavers out of work as mill made clothes and the england england the goods or a clothes which were manufactured in england these were as a cheaper 
comparatively the local domestic cotton clothes which were manufactured by the weavers <coughs> at the time of a colonial period a large number of a raw material exported towards the england for a manufacturing of a cotton clothes which make as a deficiency of raw material for domestic industries under such circumstances the deindustrialization began in india india's first successful modern cotton mill it was as a setup at a bombay in 1854 by the local parsi entrepreneurs so deshi movement in a 20th century under leadership of a mahatma gandhi given as a boost to the domestic industries local weavers indian weavers they boosted under the leadership of a mahatma gandhi ji when the uh, time period of a two world wars given as an opportunity to the indians to provide as a cotton clothes to indians at a low cost to the to the manual work there are the 1600 cotton and synthetic fiber mills in india which has worked the 80 percentage of a textile mills which are managed by the private sector industries private sector industries that's we will do on tomorrow till there any questions